What are we calling this? Prompt, prompt jockeys. Prompt jockeys. Prompt jockeys. Prompt jockeys. This is the PJ party. PJ party. Uh, it's a PJ party. <laughs> We're prompt jockeys, baby. It's DJing, but harder. With DJing, you're playing usually other people's tracks. But with this, the tracks don't even exist yet. You're prompting them live with a neural network. I think that there's potential here to make something new. Thousands of bands are grinded up into a paste, and... <laughs> <laughs> you have all of this at your fingertips, all of music basically condensed into like this latent space. What do you do, you know? It would be something like ghetto tech, samba, bali, funk, hard style, J-rock, oh man. Uh, I recently found out they don't even fit in the prongs to okay. begin with. Oh gosh, okay. Favorite prompt by Dot flack. Oh, and genre. And I like to uh, just make up fake artists. All right, good old Garth Buckley and the, the, the Buckley Bunch of Johnny Rockstar. His name is Gers Fazuk. Yes, the model knows about me. Not only does it know who I am, it nails it. Mr. Bill and Encanti are just cheat words, honestly. Um, if you put them in, it's automatically just an excellent song. It's, it's this interdimensional mirror where some other alternate version of myself is on the other side, feeding back to me like what I could have been making. Right now, with prompt jockeys, this is such an amazing new pure expression of culture. It's just like, there's something really magical and organic about just like a bunch of people together who love music, like discovering this like totally new form of, I guess, creative expression, like Ben was saying, so. Sometimes we even build a prompt with the audience. Salsa. Okay. And, and, a, and a second genre. Afrobeat techno. Sometimes we even let the audience text in the prompts. You're not going to be able to listen to the whole track before you play it. And there's something kind of exciting about doing that, just like you're sort of like going back to back with like a friend. And when you really have no idea what you're about to hear, and you're just as surprised as the audience, it is an awesome feeling. The common misconception is that it's gotta be on some server that's in San Francisco somewhere. That's the only place where AI happens. But this music model is running on my laptop. I don't need the internet anymore. Off the grid. Uh, it just widely increases accessibility because literally anyone can run it. AI is that you train yourself and that it's sitting on your computer and that feeds on your data and the data that you put into it. The more accessible electronic music becomes, the more people that can make it, the more the electronic music scene overall will flourish. I mean, I think like any advancement in electronic music technology is good for electronic music as a whole. AI is just another step, so I want to be part of that. What we're trying to do is to create a new music and to have fun with it and express ourselves with it and to further our artistry and to augment what we were already doing. That's the most exciting thing about it for me and that's why I think right now we're in the AI golden age.